In this video, I will be talking about three reasons why your push-ups suck. Disgusting, useless, humiliating. Before I get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Number one, your core is not flexed. Understand that when doing every single push-up, every single rep, every single set, you should be doing push-ups with your core. That's your six pack, or whatever jello you got down there. Should be tucked and tightened, which is gonna make for a more effective push up. When your core is not flexed, something very horrible could happen. The lumbar region of the spine or your lower back will be severely affected, which will definitely lead to extensive lower back pain and discomfort. And it's extremely important that you take into the account that even if your core isn't flexed right now and you're not experiencing lower back pain, the pain actually will sneak up on you. And this is one of those things where it's really gonna hurt you in the long run. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your core flexed to prevent that action of the lumbar region and to prevent that pain and discomfort for a more effective push-up. Number two, your arms are too wide or you're flaring your elbows out. When your arms are too wide or you're flaring your elbows out, this will cause immense pressure and tension to the shoulders, specifically the front and lateral delts, which actually leads to long-term shoulder pain or some form of shoulder impingement. Make sure that you're keeping your elbows tucked inward and fix your hand position Placing your thumb on the outer lower portion of your chest, unballing your fist and placing your hands down, which is gonna help you have the best hand placement for your push-up. Make sure you keep your elbows in a fixed position, keeping them tucked, and make sure you keep your core flex like we just spoke about a moment ago, and you'll have a more effective push-up with less shoulder pain and less lower back pain. Number three, stop humping the ground. Understand that this isn't yoga class, Pilates class, some knockoff version of military push-ups. These are not effective and it's actually gonna hurt your lower back, a little bit of your upper back, your traps, your shoulders. It can really put your body in a difficult position because you're not in proper alignment at all in any standpoint. This is simply bullshit and you know it. If you're having trouble completing a standard push-up, it's okay to get on your knees, pause. What do you mean by that? To perform a few starter push-ups and get the hang of it until you move to your traditional push-up. Proper form consists of tucking your pelvis or your core, retracting your shoulder blades, keeping your elbows tucked inward, and then traveling down slow, exploding on the way up. That is how you do a proper push-up. Once you master the form of a proper push-up, then you can move to different variations to target certain muscles in the body, such as incline push-ups to target the lower chest, decline push-ups to emphasize the upper chest, and even diamond or close grip push-ups to help emphasize the triceps. But the same rules apply, and be mindful that you're maintaining proper form, posture, and balance when doing these other variations of push-ups as well. So one more time, the three mistakes to avoid, not flexing the core, having your arms out too wide and flaring the elbows, and humping the ground too much, which isn't even a push-up. For more training tips like this, comment a fire emoji and I got you.